Hi, welcome again. Today I'm trying to show you draw simple shapes or mask uh, in UV space uh, with materials uh, quite easily. Uh, for example, let me show you. Here we have a square like a diamond square something like that. And if I put a value like 2 over here, check into this material instance and it's a circle. And if you increase that value, it's became a rounded circle like this. If you put like really large number, it's became a square. Like this is not hard to do anyway. Then you can add a value below one and you will see this same very interesting shapes like a shape that you can see um, sometimes inside uh, the card deck and that's possible over here. So everything here is created using uh, mathematics and something called LP norm. And I'll talk about more about that in a moment. So this is it and I'm going to show you how to do that easily. All right, uh, the first thing is you need to have a basic uh, understanding of materials in Unreal Engine. If you need a refresher on UV and material, basic material stuff, I have a video in the description. You can understand how everything works. I uh, assume you completed all those things and now we can comfortably uh, go through this material. Right, uh, here we have a material and a material instance. I have applied that material instance over this cube and then this cube has a zero to one UV space for all of these sides and then uh, we have a material instance over here this is the parameter that we're changing so i have some stuff over here i'm gonna remove everything so we can start right first thing is i'm gonna connect this um, like uv coordinates over here so just to make sure everything works right it's um, compiling yeah basically material works so this is the same thing we are changing right now i'm gonna do a little bit of mathematics over here I'm gonna put a cube over oh, here, it's pretty easy. So basically, uh, so each and every point is a UV point. So you can see X and Y values over here. So zero, zero starts on this top, top over here, you can see my mouse. And then here we got the X axis or the U axis, bottom down, we have the V axis or Y axis. So here, this is zero, zero, over here, this is one, zero. And this is zero one like that. You understand? In order to work with that, I need to get the uh, to get the zero position into the middle. It's quite easy actually. I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna subtract it by zero point five. So because this is one, uh, along both axes. If I get zero point five, I'm gonna connect it to the base color. You can see my you can see now my middle point over here. So this is zero, zero. The length from this zero, zero to the top is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So we can work with this for sure, but I need to have more space over here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna simply multiply by two. Right, now you have zero, zero over here and here we have one, The yeah, you, you understand. So now I can draw a unit circle. So basically, uh, so if, if I draw a circle over here, this circle has unit length of one, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. If you don't understand this, that's totally fine. With the material graph, you can access all those pixels. I can get the distance from over here, zero to zero to each and every point over here. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm gonna type the distance function. There's a function called distance over here. Yeah, it's over here. I'm gonna grab that. So this is my UV coordinate over here. And the other UV coordinate should be the zero zero point. So I, I can get the distance. It doesn't matter if you change the order like this. I'm gonna connect that over here. All right, now you get a gradient like this. So this is the, like, you can see over here zero. And when you go towards that, it's became one over here. So maybe some over here, it's more than one. So you get the idea. So now I can do something uh, quite interesting. So basically this is the function we get the distance. And then I can grab this. I can type uh, smooth step. So this is very interesting function. First, I'm gonna connect this, all these pins and then I'm gonna explain how it works. So basically I'm gonna have two constants here and the second one should be one actually. Okay, I'm gonna connect the result over here. Right, so nothing changes actually, that's totally fine. This is a smooth step function. So what it does is quite interesting. So we can provide two values over here. It doesn't matter, like like zero to one, and then it will smooth out the this function between zero and one. But if I put a value like 0 0.9 over here, so basically it smooths out all the value between uh, 0 0.9 to 1 into a range between 0 to 1. So everything below 0 0.9 became 0. Everything beyond 1 became 1. 
So this is a very interesting function. So we can do a very smooth uh, circle over here. And if I put a value like, let's say, 9999999, you can get a very uh, sharp edge even, like if that's what you want. But uh, my, in this case, I like a little bit of like, uh, it will almost one, yeah, you can put that, definitely. And, but here I like a little bit of gradient, 9.5 at the edges, right, cool. So this is here, we just uh, create a simple circle. All right, now uh, the interesting thing is here, uh, we uh, create a distance like this. But this is only, uh, this is a one way to create distance in mathematics. And so this is called like L2 norm. Also, you can have a geometric distance, but there are some other ways we can uh, create distance. And the common way we understand this distance called something called LP norm. Uh, so we using LP norm, uh, we can create interesting shapes. We don't have the LP norm functionality inside the material, but it's really easy to create. I'm going to right click and create a custom node. Here I'm going to type some HLSL code, but don't worry, it's pretty simple. And here from the inputs, I'm going to create one input called UV. And then I'm going to create another input called P. Right. And then uh, I'm going to use this as my distance value. I'm going to put UV over here. I'm going to put the value over here. And it will throw some errors. That's totally fine. I'm going to put a scalar parameter now. I'm going to right click and create a scalar parameter. And let's say P over here, I'm going to connect that to mm -hmm, here. And I'm going to set the default value as uh, 1, maybe 2. All uh, right, OK. And I'm, I don't need the distance anymore. All right. Uh, and then about the output type of this custom node, I'm going to select plot 1. So it should select a single value. And the code, and I can uh, type anything here I want. And this is the code that I'm going to show you. And you can simply copy this and simply paste it over here but since you don't have this file you can type it right now simply post this video and you can type it out also you can grab all the source code and everything related to this project from my patreon and check the list in the description below or somewhere in this video also in that uh, patreon i'm gonna explain how this function works and also some mathematics behind it and and some ways to optimize this function in further like save some gpu cost uh, and there are some special cases. I'm going to explain all those things and how to put them over here. Uh, so that's my Patreon and it's also helping me to create more videos like this. Okay, now we have this. We got the P2 over here. I'm going to save this. Now I have this parameter. Earlier I mentioned the L2 norm is the uh, normal distance that we use in geometry. And that's how it was. And we have something called L1 norm. So basically it's simply uh, summing all the entities in the UV coordinate, basically we sum X and Y and we get this one, that's the L1 norm. So then we get a like diamond square. And if I put a like value zero below zero, we get this. And if I increase this value uh, beyond two, we get a rounded square. And if we go to, in, if, if we go to infinity or something like large value, like 100, 200, then we get a square. Oh, uh, so this is it. And this is how we can create a shape. Now let's say you need to like, scale this out like here you can see edges like it goes to these edges it's quite easy uh, here we divide it by three and you can divide it by maybe four so then you can have something like this also you can create a parameter for this one so let's do it as i'm gonna type s and i'm gonna say it like let's give name like scale yeah, i'm gonna set it over here i don't think that's the correct name for this one anyway just fine uh, i'm gonna save it Go to the material instance, enable that. Now we have the scale. I can increase that. You get the idea. And I can change it like this. You can yeah, basically do anything. Also, you can now play with this value as well. You can right click and convert this into a parameter. So let's give it a name like uh, what, do you, what do we call like uh, smooth start. I'm going to save this. So we have the smooth start over here. I can reduce this value. Then it became a really nice gradient. If I put a two over here, like this. So this will be very useful if you are playing with some, create some sort of mask or something like that. In this case, white is over here, but if you, you can easily change that, you here you have, you can simply say one minus, and then you can, you can switch the colors. So we have the white mask on the middle and the black mask over here. So you can use this as a gradient to do very, very interesting things. 
like uh, I use this in terrain magic to like create a slope gradient uh, to nicely blend height maps into the landscape uh, so that's you can do yep there are very very interesting things you can do with this tool I hope uh, you will uh, use this functionality quite uh, usefully also join my patreon and help me to like create more videos like this and also get like uh, in-depth uh, videos on how things like this works uh, and yeah um, all right see you soon with something interesting